Hi guys, this is uh, the second part uh, of um, uh, the uh, Yaesu FD747GX which uh, has uh, some problems uh, with receive, so sense is uh, bad and uh, we try to um, perform an enlargement um, and see whether we can improve um, sense to what uh, Yezu is telling us in uh, the specs. Okay, so what uh, we're gonna try is to um, follow uh, the complete receive part and uh, in the receive track we have uh, always uh, this little um, transformers um, and we can turn the coils to improve um, sense and uh, that is uh, what we are going to try right now so you can see one two three four uh, five six uh, seven so there are a lot of um, little coils inside, little um, so we, you can you can uh, find it here we have the first one is uh, over here and then second, third, fourth and so and so forth and so forth and so forth so there are a lot of uh, coils in the in the track we uh, have to uh, leach. Okay. So therefore, I uh, connect as well an analog, an analog millivolt meter to my uh, dummy resistor which is here and now I should uh, get an indication here on the scale um, for the moment in time we have really 22 millivolt audio signal it's a, a dummy resistor and yeah so 100 uh, oh, where is it 100 millivolt is adjusted here so that means we read the same 22 so that is really 22 um, millivolt audio signal okay so what we try now so we, we, we have really a, a low uh, RF level which is good it should not uh, too high um, because uh, if the level is uh, the, the injected RF level is too high uh, focus what's with focus come on mm. ah, okay here we are here we are again um, so if if you inject a, a too high um, level RF level into the radio, then uh, the RGC uh, circuit uh, is working. So uh, automatic gain control uh, is uh, controlling the incoming RF signal um, to protect uh, the front end of the receiver um, that it uh, cannot get uh, overdriven. But uh, for uh, leachment, um, we 
nearly need to uh, get uh, AGC switched off or uh, that it uh, doesn't work means that uh, all um, the uh, circuits are adjusted for maximum amplification. So that's the reason why I like to um, do it with a very very low um, RF level. So anyway, we can hear we can hear uh, the tone, the audio tone, and the loudspeaker, and we see the 22 uh, the 22 volt millivolt um, signal level which uh, needs to get improved okay so I start here uh, with the first uh, coil and I try to improve the level right here. I'm turning. Oh, okay. So what you can see is I have an improvement. So we start at uh, 22 and now, okay, maximum for the first coil is approximately 36 or something. Okay, so that is the first coil. Uh, by the way, you should uh, only use um, leachment uh, tools uh, which are non-magnetic, so these um, are ceramic um, screwdrivers, uh, otherwise you are not able to uh, make this a leachment, uh, because magnetic um, screwdrivers uh, would um, change the values just uh, when you put it in so you really need uh, ceramic or plastic or whatever but uh, nothing uh, metal okay so second coil let's uh, check what we can do oh look at, look at this ah we can oh Ah, uh, here is a problem. Here is a problem. So I now change to 300. 300. So we are already at uh, 100 millivolts, which is second uh, coil. So an improvement from 10, 22 micro uh, millivolts to 100 millivolts. Very good. And you can here that uh, the uh, tone, the one kilohertz tone, it's uh, getting stronger. It's really getting getting stronger. Okay, so that is uh, the maximum for the second. So that is one hundred and ten more or less okay so now we check our next coil so okay now I'm in and we check what we can do here uh, okay that is getting worse and other direction oh look at this Look at this! Ah, oh, can you hear the tone in the background? Ah, oh, ah, oh, 300 millivolt. So I'm going to one volt range. Ah, oh, 300 millivolts. Ah, oh, that is a problem, definitely, definitely. Look at this. Okay, so that seems to be maximum. 
Oh, look at this. So from 22 millivolts up to 300 millivolts. So that is really, really an improvement. And I'm turning it down now, the tone. And look at this. So we have now a signal to noise ratio of 30 dB with the minus 102 dBm. So that is uh, an improvement of uh, 20 dB. But now let us uh, check uh, if we are able to to uh, reach uh, the Yaezo specs. So what uh, was the Yaezo spec? Uh, the radio should uh, be able to uh, reach the 10 dB signal to noise with uh, at least um, minus 119 dBm. So okay, with a with a uh, re-leached uh, circuitry, we um, perform again the signal-to-noise test. So 10 dB signal-to-noise, and uh, now the generator is starting to. Uh, decrease the signal level, increase the signal level to minus 100. Uh, it is it is uh, almost uh, minus 122. So signal level uh, RF signal level is reduced. To minus uh, 122 and with minus 122 we reach 10 dB signal to noise okay so that means we have really a huge improvement because minus 122 dBm means 0 0.18 microvolt and uh, Yaezu is telling us with uh, minus 119 dB, uh, dBm which is uh, a higher level uh, they uh, told us um, with uh, minus 100 uh, and uh, minus 119 dBm the 10 dB signal to noise uh, ratio should be reached and now we uh, already reach uh, 10 dB with minus 122 which is 0 0.1.8 microvolts so that is a lower level it is a lower level where we already uh, reach the 10 dB signal to noise ratio and that means the radio is now leached um, in a way which is better as what Yaezu is telling us. So let us uh, look into um, the manual again. So uh, sideband uh, sends above 1.5 megahertz with 0 0.25 microvolts we should uh, reach the 10 dB signal to noise ratio but we reach the 10 dB already with 0 0.18 microvolt so that means our leachment is now fully in spec with uh, the Yaezu figures. So, hope uh, that uh, was uh, nice to see. Okay, bye bye.